Demonstrations and marches continuing today in the city and the suburbs as protesters carry on with calls for social justice and reforms, calling attention to the fact that racism is a big reality in the United States. Fox 6's Bill Miston live tonight in Waukesha with marchers and their message tonight. Bill? Hey there, Mary. Since George Floyd's death in Minneapolis Memorial Day, marchers have taken to the streets across the world, decrying his death, calling for social justice and policing reforms, hoping to educate and reach people who have the privilege of looking the other way. The first step to solving a problem is acknowledging there's a problem in the first place. In all aspects of our society, there's racism embedded in it. And I just feel like we need to work uh, together to realize that and educate each other. No justice! No peace! A lot of it happens in the mirror. You have to look at yourself and say, you know what? I have some work to do and I'm okay doing that and not be afraid. Sabrina Benson and Natalie Count, separated by age, towns, and race, but both marching in their respective streets of Port Washington and Waukesha Sunday. There's so many different facets needed for change to happen and we need the agitators. We need people, people to feel uncomfortable. What do we want? It's the spaces that we feel most comfortable in that we have to say these aren't actually equitable. So how do we fix that? The 20 or so peaceful protesters meeting some middle fingers and calls to cops as they made their way through a Waukesha neighborhood. George Floyd! Meanwhile, in Port Washington, dozens of marchers making their way around downtown, drawing out onlookers and supporters. We feel that in this community, it's not always as perfect as people think, and we do have the underlying racism issues, and police brutality is a real thing, even if it doesn't necessarily happen here in Port. But that racism exists and has existed for hundreds of years in this country. And fixing inequality starts with people listening. It's time to go forward and move forward together. There's lots of people willing to learn and teach, so we just need to utilize our relationships with each other. And acknowledging that there are a multitude of problems that now must be fixed. Black Lives Matter! While the marches and messages started in cities, more and more protests popping up in the suburbs, showing that there's support regardless of one zip code. Reporting in Waukesha tonight, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Bill, thank you. A lot of great messages coming out of your story tonight. Thank you. We appreciate that. Now in Milwaukee.